Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this liquid track mat effect that was done in the present day music video on the Concrete Boys channel. It's a pretty simple effect. All you need is some track mat overlays, which I'm going to be linking down in the description 100% for free. There's a bunch to choose from so you can really get creative with it. If you haven't already tried out my new After Effects plugin, Shake Sauce 2, I'll have it linked down in the description with a seven day free trial. That way you can try it out 100% risk free. Go ahead and drop a like in the video and let's get into After Effects. So here in After Effects, this is the effect that I'm talking about. It's like this liquid track mat effect. You can see it kind of looks like almost ink or some water is kind of being spilled here and it has like this dual exposure kind of look where there's two videos happening in one and it's actually really simple to do it involves no masking just a track mat layer and i'm gonna have these all linked down in the description there's this youtube channel that is amazing for it if you go down here to these ink drop reveal mats you can see they have close to i think 50 of them you can go ahead and just download them so go ahead check out any of these ones that you like i just went through and picked a random few and i'm going to be using them in this video so i'm going to be using this tripod footage and then i want this clip and this clip to overlay so what i'm going to do is actually drag the footage over here like this that way you're not going to be able to see the original clip anymore but they'll be over the clip that i want it to be overlaying so now we got to figure out how to get this clip over this one without it completely replacing and we can do that by using the track mats that we downloaded on youtube if you don't already have 4k video downloader to download youtube videos i'd highly suggest it i use it it's 100 free and that's how i download videos off youtube but you can see here is our kind of overlay so i wanted to do this and like do that transition eventually so let's go ahead and maybe do from like here forward so basically part of your footage is going to go here and part of it's going to go here and i'll show you how to do that in just a second so for right now we can actually turn off the layer we don't need to see the ink at all and then we can turn back on our other two layers and if you don't see the thing that says track mat here go down to where it says toggle switches and modes until you see it say track mat so now once you see track mat here you can actually go to this pick whip make sure it's the track mat pick whip and not the parent pick whip because they do two separate things and then drag that up to the ink transition that we have and we can do that on both of our footage layers now it's not going to do anything off the start but if you click this layer here where it says luma mat selected and it kind of gives you like this sun icon you can now see it will actually do the transition and if you want you can go ahead and move around your footage that way it's actually like scaled properly up here and we can go ahead and scale it you can play around with the rotation of it that way it fits your clip properly as the transition grows because it does like this once we turn it back on you can see it does like that it will expose some harsh edges so one thing you can do is just find out a spot where it doesn't do that like this. That way it kind of does it at the end here. And that should be a fix for our clip, but you just have to be aware of what is actually happening in your footage. So you can see here kind of showing the money and then it goes like that. So I actually want it to like right around here, have that jump. So let's go find where it does that big jump right there and we'll have it right on this clip. So it goes here to there. It kind of just does a clean transition. And this is where you can get creative. If you make an adjustment layer above it all, you can add some RSMB, which is gonna make it look good. You can add effects like distort chroma, which is, looks cool with these kind of transitions. There's a lot you can really do here. So let's go ahead and just show you a little bit of like some distort chroma and some RSMB. So I'm just gonna keyframe the amount from a pretty subtle amount here to like kind of where it whips through, we'll like keyframe it kind of at the beginning here where it starts to whip through and just kind of have it do a little bit of like a distort effect as it's whipping. And then we can go back down to like zero. And if we keyframe that, you can see how it has like this kind of like distortion kind of like wave whip through. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a pretty simple transition. You can add a bunch of different effects like the distort chroma, grain looks cool on these kind of effects, glint, glow, a lot of Sapphire plugins will look really, really cool. And then one last saucy thing I'm gonna add on here on tripod footage, I really, really like some of these constant presets from Shake Sauce. So I'm gonna apply the shaky hand preset over just all of it and it's going to instantly kind of give it like this almost like handheld kind of look and you can see just like that it adds a little bit more energy to the shot and kind of just goes with that flow but that's pretty much the effect it's really simple just get some of those track mats go ahead and apply the track mats and then add effects like distort chroma a bunch of sapphire plugins look really cool with that as well as some shakes if you haven't already tried out shake sauce go ahead and click the link down below there's a seven day free trial that way you can try it out 100 risk-free it's by far the best plugin in all of after effects but that's pretty much all i got for you guys in this one Peace.